In the last video, we looked at how to add Bootstrap to our application without using the CDN links. So in that one, we downloaded the Bootstrap CSS and JavaScript files onto our machine and add them using the static tags. Okay. So in this one, we will look at a very quick way of integrating Bootstrap to our application, right? By just copying few links and then the website will look exactly like our previous video. All right. So I have the link already on the blog site on stock management system. All right. So this is video number 12, how to add Bootstrap to Django using CDN. So this will work with any kind of uh, website, whether it is a Django website or just a regular website. You just have to go to this URL, bootstrap.com slash docs.404 getting started slash introduction. Okay. So I'm going to open that scroll down. All right, so we have to copy the CSS file and also the JS file. Okay, so now I'm going to open the application and paste this code right in there. I want to do this thing on the home page. I'm going to expand the templates and then click on the home.html. So in the previous video, we downloaded this file to our machine, which is sitting right in the static folder in, in the CSS. We have the bootstrap.bin.css. All right, so if you look at the URL, so this is exactly what we are having right here. So if you scroll a little bit on the right, you'll see this is the same bootstrap that means the CSS. Okay, but this one is using the CDN links, the fully qualified domain name and the URL of the file. So I'm going to copy this line and then paste it in uh, the template. So before that, I'm going to show you how the website looks. I'm going to start the server and then run the application. All right, so I'm going to open the browser and then see how the app is looking. All right, so this is the current look of the website. If I comment this line and save it, do a control refresh, you can see our website is normal looking like a bootstrap website. All right, so I'm going to replace this line with the CDN, paste it right there and then save it and do a control refresh again. Boom, you can see our website get back to how it looks before. If this is the first video that you're following up, there is this other file that you need to add in there. Okay. So that's the navbar top fixed that CSS. So you will need this file if you want the, the website to have this padding right there. Okay. So um, if I comment that line and save it, you can see the padding just disappears. So now what we can do is on our examples uh, on the bootstrap site, there is this example that we used in the previous video. That is the fixed nav bar. I'm going to scroll down this fixed nav bar or nav bar fixed. So now if I right click and then do a uh, view page source. So this is the file that we copied to our application. So if I click on that file, you can see there, they are doing some padding right there, padding top. 4.4 rem All right so i can copy this content and then paste it directly in the body in the styling here i can do this and paste it right there and tab it in all right so if i head back to the application and i do a refresh you can see that will bring back that padding so you don't really need to download that file so this is all what we need to add that padding on that template okay so we have the javascript file that we need to copy all right so i'm gonna head back to bootstrap.com we had copied this line so we have the javascript files to copy as well okay so i'm gonna copy this as well i'm gonna do a copy right there and then paste it on the website right below here so this is what i'm gonna replace i'm gonna paste it right there okay so these are the JavaScript files that Bootstrap uses. So if I get back to my website and do a refresh, it will look exactly the same right? because we're not using any JavaScript at the moment. So, but in the future videos, we'll look at how to do some pop-up notification and we will need JavaScript or the jQuery to do the styling or the animation of that pop-up message. 
okay so this is how to add a bootstrap using the cdn it's a quick one so you just have to go to the url and copy this line and also these three lines and paste them on your website or application so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please click on the like button if you have any comments you can put them in the comments below otherwise see you in the next video